experience. But, Ninko, obviously you were there for some of that, and you know all about this, and you know how Bill will put together his plan. What chance do you give him to shut down and beat up these Cowboys on Sunday? It's going to be tough. It's going to be a tough challenge for the Patriots because of the running game that the Cowboys are able to force the issue running the football. Then you have Dak obviously making all the right throws. It's, going to, it's not going to be an easy game plan for them to come up with, especially their front seven is going to have to play better. We saw the Texans, who couldn't score a point against the Buffalo Bills, mm -hmm. drop a lot of points on the Patriots. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we'll see in this matchup. You, you can never count Bill out, right? He always comes up with some great scheme that's going to shut somebody down. But when you look at the Dallas Cowboys and their ability to move the football with running and also passing with play action pass, they also have a great tight end. I think it's going to be really a tough challenge for the Patriots. What do you think, Satch? Yeah, I actually like the Patriots in this game. And, yes, I'm big on the Cowboys. I think the Cowboys are better than a lot of teams, specifically in the NFC. But when it comes to Bill Belichick coach teams, he loves to shut down your greatest strength. And we know in a lot of ways the Cowboys running game the last four games has been their greatest strength. I think the Patriots will be able to shut that down. And then the little things, the nuances of the defense, the nuances of forcing your quarterback into bad throws, that's one side. Then the other side of it is the fact that Trayvon Diggs has been feasting on opposing quarterbacks. I'm pretty sure game plan-wise – Josh McDaniels is not going to allow that to happen. That's why I'm going with the Patriots hmm. in a lower scoring game than what we would expect. Interesting. That would be a, a surprise, though not a shocker. RC, what do you think? Man, I show out his dang mind. <laughs> you know, this is file this, file this under when smart people try to say way too intelligent things. <laughs> Hell no. They ain't got no chance. We just watched Davis Mills play decent against the Dallas Cowboys and you're thinking that they're going to come and shut down Dak Prescott and I mean and, and, and the Patriots play uh, against Davis Mills and you think they're going to come and shut down Dak Prescott and you're saying they're going to take away the run? Guess what? The Cowboys just run the football because they can. Not because they have to. They just know that if teams are going to have two, uh, two high safeties and if you're going to be focused on these wide receivers, the skill players we got, that we could turn around and hand the football off to Ezekiel Elliott and Tony Pollard. But remember Dak threw for over 400 yards in week one because they felt like they couldn't run against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. And that's when Dan Graziano was singing the praises of Kellen Moore and the way that he morph and evolve week to week. Guess what? If they need to morph it to a team that throws the football to the outside because Bill Belichick comes up with this great plan that nobody else could seem to come up with to stop the Dallas Cowboys run game, they got a $150 million quarterback who's playing at an MVP level. And yes, we know Trayvon Diggs is feasting, and you think that just all of a sudden this week when he's got an interception every week, ain't nobody going to throw that way? That is not true. The Dallas Cowboys win this game. This game might be close. This game might be fun at some point, but the Dallas Cowboys are the better team. We just sat here and said how they were better than all the teams atop the NFC, and now all of a sudden, because we, are, we have PTSD for Bill Belichick beating everybody when he had Tom Brady, we might pick him. Hell no, man. Dallas Cowboys go beat these boys, and we ain't even going to talk about it on Monday, except for Greeny knows it's great for ratings. Yeah, well, I, I, <laughs> that's fair enough. I, I would be, uh, I, I actually am, on your side of this. I do believe the Cowboys win this game, but there is some sneaky big news that might actually tilt it the other way. Well, it, it, yeah, the, the, you talk about things that could go wrong for a yeah. team that's playing like the Cowboys. is. Uh, left tackle Tyron Smith showed up on the injury report yesterday as limited with a neck issue. This has been a problem for Tyron Smith in the past. He had surgery last year, cost him almost the entire season. So keep an eye. If he practices today, if he's fine today, I wasn't able to get much clarity last night on how concerned they really were, but worth watching because the Cowboys are going great. And you talk about things that could knock them off track. Injuries on the offensive line certainly would fit that description. It's remarkable, though, because they've overcome weird stuff they on have. their offensive line already. They played the first game without Zach Martin, and then they had to be, have had to be without Lyle Collins yep. with that whole situation and now maybe another one, but this would if they are playing without him, obviously, it has some impact. Give me a quick final thought. Yeah, quick final thought. RC, I appreciate the soliloquy. I respect it, but I'm still going with the Patriots. The reason why is not for, like, you're right. Like, the Cowboys can be a better team, but as you know, football oftentimes is about matchups, and I think in this matchup, Cowboys are riding high, and the Patriots are coming off of a game that they won, but they should have lost. They're going to be prepared for this matchup. And I'll just say one final thing to you, RC. No matter what happens, Prepare for the Cowboys in the 8 o'clock on Monday. That's a lot. That's a lot. You, Rex, and Danny, we're talking Dallas in the 8 o'clock A's Monday. That's a lot. Coming up next, Odell Beckham with some very interesting comments about his role in the Browns' offense. Is this ever really going to work? We'll answer that question.
Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.